Hello Sony Vegas gangsters. Today I am going to do a tutorial on how to do a screen shake in Sony Vegas Pro. Before I start, uh, I just want to let you know there's a link down in the description for Mr. Rebates. If you've seen my other videos, you know that uh, I promote this website. It's a cash back site. You get cash back on all your online purchases at stores like Amazon, Target, uh, Walmart, Kohl's, any place, pretty much any place online. So it's free to join. Um, anyway, okay, let's go ahead and start the tutorial. Uh, basically what I'm going to do is a clip I have is not that good, but uh, it's good enough to basically show you how to do a screen shake. What you want to do is let's pretend a ball is coming into the frame and I want the screen to shake as soon as this ball hits this young man. So what I do is I go to that exact point. Let's say it's right here. Let's pretend. Hit S and you split the clip. Hit S on your keyboard to split the clip. Okay. Then you go over here to the far right and hover over this, it looks like a little box, it says event pan crop. You open that up, and man, is that huge. Just Let's shrink that down a little bit, that is big. Okay, what you wanna do is, this is your event pan crop window. You wanna start off on your keyframe, which is this first little diamond at the beginning of the timeline. Um, what you'll wanna do is hover your mouse over the box on the, the corner, and you want to shrink this down, okay? And what I like to do is go back on the timeline. I like to go out two frames. So you go one, two, double click, add another keyframe, okay? Then what you do is come back over the corner again and see how my cursor, there's two ways. It's either a line with two arrows or it turns into a circle. You want it to be a circle. And pull it down and you kind of angle the frame a little bit. And then you come back down here two frames past that and drag it down the other way okay then what I like to do to make this fast so you don't have to keep going down the line doing the exact same thing I like to highlight both keyframes you hit shift right click copy them go over two keyframes here or two frames paste then you do it again go to the first keyframe hit shift Hold down the shift key, hit the last one, right click, copy, go two frames from the last frame again, right click and paste. And then again, and this makes it a little bit faster. So, because this can be kind of tedious. Um, okay, so you get the gist. So you see all my keyframes. Let me go ahead and uh, play it for you so you kind of see how it looks. Whoops, let me, that didn't work out that good. Let's go up here. Let me shrink this window down. And there you go. Now you see how it looks. Well, right when it stops, this is one thing I do. Um, at the end here, oh, one thing I forgot to do, go to the end of the timeline on your event pan crop window, put one more keyframe in, then go back up to your picture, right click, hit restore, and it puts it back to normal. So after the shaking's done, um, your frame goes back to the way it was. What I like to do at the end, so it's not an abrupt stop in the shaking, so it's kind of like a slowdown. Uh, it seems more realistic. You drag, drag that far um, one out where it goes back to normal, and then these last maybe three or four, you kind of drag them out a little. Instead of having two keyframes apart, maybe this one you do three, maybe then after that you go four, then you go five keyframes, and then six, and then this last one. So you'll see what I'm talking about. Watch when I hit play, watch my window at the end. Watch it slow down. See how it slowed down like that? Um, when you go in and do this, based on your project and your needs, obviously it's probably going to be a little bit different than what I do, but that's the basic gist of how you do a screen shake. Um, there's probably other little things. If you have any other ideas or comments or suggestions, did I miss something? Go ahead and put it in the comments uh, and I'll update the tutorial. If you had any questions and it didn't work for you, go ahead and post your questions in the comments and I'll get back to you. If you like this, if this was helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see any more tutorials, go ahead and subscribe. I'll be doing more Vegas tutorials. Um, if you have any ideas on any other tutorials, put that in the comments or message me. Um, I'll, I can do other tutorials too. Um, if you don't like my tutorial, you can kiss my ass. I don't care. Uh, save your comments to yourself or save them for your mom. Um, you know, no one wants to hear it. Other than that, peace. I'm out.